How common is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed among men in the United States. Somewhere around 200,000 cases are projected to be diagnosed this year. It accounts for about 30 to 40,000 deaths a year in this country. And it's a disease of the aging man. Somewhere sixth through eighth decade of life is when it's most commonly diagnosed. How is prostate cancer treated? Prostate cancer is a very treatable disease depending on the stage of the tumor, person's age, life expectancy, and other medical comorbidities. There are many good options with radiation treatment that are equivalent to surgical options or removing of the prostate. There are even some prostate cancers that don't require any treatment at all but are best addressed with active surveillance. What are the common side effects of prostate cancer treatment? The side effects of prostate cancer treatment depend on which modality a person chooses to treat the prostate cancer with. Surgery, for example, causes more incontinence and erectile dysfunction, but spares GI toxicity. Radiation causes more irritative voiding symptoms and less erectile dysfunction, but at least historically has caused more GI toxicity like diarrhea and late rectal bleeding. What is space or hydrogel? Spaceor Hydrogel is an implantable and biocompatible gel that's placed under ultrasound guidance between the rectum and the prostate. What this does for the radiation oncologist is it allows for the rectal mucosa to be spared from the effects of the radiation beam. More than 150,000 patients worldwide have been successfully implanted with Spaceor Hydrogel, which is naturally reabsorbed by the body over the course of six months. Why is space or hydrogel important for patients? When treating cancer with radiation, the goal is to kill the cancer cells while sparing normal tissue cells. In prostate cancer, the main challenge of the radiation oncologist is to adequately treat the prostate itself and spare dose to things like the rectum, which sits directly behind the prostate. With space or hydrogel implant placed between the prostate and the rectum, it allows me to spare radiation dose to the rectal mucosa, thus lowering the risk of any GI side effects. What is the gel made of? Is it safe? Space or hydrogel is made of two liquids that when combined form a soft pliable gel. It's mostly water. Space or hydrogel is biocompatible, meaning that it's safe for implantation in the human body. It's similar to other products used in medicine, such as surgical sealants used in the eye, brain, and spine. Space or remains at its fullest thickness for about three months and is fully absorbed after six months. Has space or hydrogel been clinically tested? Space or hydrogel has been evaluated in many clinical studies, including a randomized trial in which men who were treated with radiation therapy and space or hydrogel implant were eight times less likely to experience a decline in urinary, bowel, and sexual function. What are the risks of space or hydrogel? As with any medical treatment, there are some risks associated with space or hydrogel implant. Potential complications include, but are not limited to, injection site pain, pain or discomfort associated with space or hydrogel, needle penetration of the bladder, prostate, rectal wall, rectum or urethra, injection of space or hydrogel into the bladder, prostate, rectal wall, rectum or urethra, local inflammatory reactions, and infections. At Samaritan Medical Center's Walker Center for Cancer Care, I am proud to offer men space or implants for their prostate cancer and a full slate of radiation options for treating prostate cancer. If you're interested in talking to someone about your prostate cancer diagnosis and treatment, please don't hesitate to call us here at the Walker Center. The number is 315-785 4673.